Hi, my name is Brian and this is part two of my video series um, on making some temporary countertops slash workbenches. Uh, these are really nice as workbenches go and they're okay as countertops go. So uh, before I get started, if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up. If you don't like my video, well, I'm sorry. This is just how I do it. I'm not an expert at this and you, you may have better ideas. Um, feel free to leave them in the comments to help others out. That's the whole reason I shoot these videos. So um, I also have a few blogs. Uh, this video will eventually get posted to comfy.house, which is my blog about my house remodeling project. So um, I'm in the middle of remodeling my house. I've decided that I want to build my own cabinets for better or worse. And so, um, but I'm also sick of living with a temporary table. So spending a few hundred dollars to build some um, countertops that have a little bit of storage underneath them just so I can live in my kitchen for six months while I take my time building cabinets. Um, when they're done uh, being used as uh, kitchen counters, they will probably find a new life in my garage as workbenches. And they're really nice as workbenches go. So um, at this stage, I have sanded them with 150 grit sandpaper and then sanded them with 220 grit sandpaper. And I um, hit them with Minwax uh, stain conditioner. Let's see what this stuff's called. Pre-stain is what they're calling it this year. Pre-stain wood conditioner. And I really recommend this. If you're gonna stain um, a soft wood, you, you need to um, treat it with this. It smells like mineral spirits. I'd be surprised if there was a lot more in there than that. And then I came back with uh, a Minwax Red Chestnut 232. It's color, it looked pretty in the store. Um, and it looks pretty. I mean, this, this took this from basic pine to what you see here. And then I'm following up with uh, Minwax Helmsman Indoor Outdoor Spar Urethane. That's the stuff here. Um, I actually used this on my front door at my last house. Um, you know, after about 10 years, it needed to be redone. Again, it's completely okay. This is just, these are temporary countertops. I decided to go a little further with them this time. You know, in the past I've done one or two coats of urethane and called it a day because I was in a hurry. And um, I have time to actually finish these. Now, what I didn't do is I didn't stain the two by four frames. Um, maybe it's a mix of being lazy and I just don't care. You know, I also like the finished and unfinished contrast um, in these these tables. So um, I'm using a DeWalt, let's see if we can find a number on this, uh, 26451 Random Orbit Palm Sander. I have a pair of these and I'm using DeWalt uh, Velcro 220 uh, sandpaper. I got a deal on Amazon when I bought the uh, sanders. They had like a 20% off on the sandpaper. So I bought a bunch of the sandpaper at the same time. And I bought two sanders because I anticipated, um, I actually bought these about a year ago, but I finally getting to use them. I anticipated wanting to have a couple of grits of sandpaper and then just kind of working through them and not having to peel the sandpaper off all the time. So this is three coats here, and I'm about to put on a fourth and final coat. And what I've done after each coat is um, I've lightly sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper, and then I've wiped it down with a shop towel brand um, paper towel. Um, and then I've put that fourth coat on uh, and let it dry. Um, this stuff does stink to high hell, so um, I have the windows open and a fan in the window. Um, you might actually even hear some of the background noise. Um, so with that, um, here's, here's where we're at. Okay, so I've, that's just lightly sanded. All the rest of the tables and the bottom shelf have already been done. Um, I saved this one uh, for this video. Um, and then I'm just taking this and trying to get as much of the dust out as possible. Now 
and you can kind of, you probably can't see it on camera, but there's, there's quite a bit of white dust here. Overall, I've been really, really happy with my DeWalt tools. So for um, the polyurethane side of this, I am using some uh, Harbor Freight Hardy brand 3 mil nitrile disposable gloves. Um, they're on sale every once in a while. They used to be dirt cheap, but Harbor Freight's prices have gotten, um, they've gotten expensive. Um, it's still an okay deal, but it's not the phenomenal deal it was a couple years ago. So uh, I am using a uh, four inch Harbor Freight disposable chip brush. Um, these were $15, $15.99 for a dozen. So it works out to a dollar and a quarter a piece. Uh, it's a little more than I like to pay for a disposable brush, but uh, Home Depot, they're $4 a piece. So the Harbor Freight was a good deal. So um, the gloves do not completely eliminate the, the uh, need to rinse my hands with mineral spirits and then wash them off afterwards, but it gets rid of the vast majority of it um, and it keeps this crap off my hands. And you'll notice that I've set the whole can on a paper towel and that's because there's junk on the bottom of it and I don't want a ring on my, on my surface. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lower section. I always do the lower section first. So the reason I do the lower part first is that um, that way it doesn't drip on me. And I know there's some folks that are probably watching my video who are a whole lot better at finishing than I am. Um, I am absolutely not an expert at this. And my goal is not to build fine furniture. My goal is actually to build some countertops that are fine for now. Okay, so I'm not going to film doing the rest of these tables, but uh, I hope that you've enjoyed my video and I hope that it's helpful for you. Um, if you're curious about how these tables were built, go ahead and, and uh, check my channel for the first part of this and uh, have a great day.